Hey, what up, guys? It's me again. Um, another anatomy video. Uh, today's topic is going to be overview of connective tissue. Um, this was kind of a struggle for me, so I'm going to try and explain it best as I can. So how I'm going to do this is illustrate with a picture. So this is going to be my epithelial tissue yada 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 but at some point actually if you want to get crazy this is going to be simple squamous epithelial tissue um, non-keratinized if you didn't understand a word totally fine if you did sweet but what is under I think we talked about apical and basilar surfaces in my last video but what a connective tissue is, is the underlying layer on these. And I'll tell you why it's so important. These cells right here, all these little guys, no metabolic support. So, how do they get their nutrients and stuff? Well, that's why we have a basement membrane, and which is connective tissue. Um, they do not, I give you some character, characteristics. Um, obviously, if we want to dovetail into this, it, mm, I guess, well, yeah, let's see here. Physically and uh, physically and metabolic support. Hope you see what I did there. Of the ET. Um, because these are, here we go, here's a term. A vascular these are going to be for the most part vascularized I Z E D and I guess you'll you'll see when this is happening um, and it, it, it varies so keep keep that in mind it definitely varies so one type of connective tissue is cartilage and another could be blood so there are a whole bunch of different variations on how vascularized they are um, also with the vascularization and um, most once again most are innervated. You may say, what the, the hell does innervated mean? Innervated means it just has like a nerve supply to it. So, nerve supply. Come on, work with me. Nerve supply. It's some green in here. But the th characteristics of a connective tissue it must have three parts. So, number one, connective tissue must have cells spaced in a matrix. In why is it doing that? Matrix. And this matrix. That brings me to number two. Matrix is essentially the ground substance. Please, come on. Ground substance. And this, I mean, we could even go further into this. So it's going to be H2O and solutes so say like sodium potassium sugars 
etc etc everything so we have cells here we go we're gonna try and picture this because I like pictures that you couldn't tell and we have water a little bit sure water this is all water obviously if you couldn't tell and then we're gonna have some stuff just kind of hanging out spaced nutrients so that's our cells our H2O and our solutes I'll put that in red so you know what's up cool and last but not least they have oh, let's do pink here we go yeah. So one, two, three. They have to have protein fibers. Eh, come on. Protein fibers. And I'm going to, I guess, depict that with just, eh, just kind of for support. Mostly collagen. There's other types that we'll get into. But for the basic connective tissue, we have cells and a matrix, and a matrix is H2O and solutes, yada yada yada, and protein fibers. Um, you need to have all three of these in order to be considered a connective tissue. Why did that just not work? What the deuce? Huh. All right, had a little bit of trouble there, but I think I figured it out. So, um, I guess we can go over, yeah, I can just say the function. Function, I think I set it up there, was um, physical and metabolic support. So I'll just highlight that again. Here we go, that's a big takeaway. Physical and metabolic support. That's getting a little crowded. I'm sorry for that. Um, and like I said before, um, all these kind of characteristics vary, and there is a ton of connective tissue. Um, I'm going to draw kind of the big overlying chart just so you can get a feel for it. You've probably seen this in your book. But we have CTs, connective tissue. Then we have kind of Ooh, that was fun. One, two, three. So we have fluid. Supporting. So we'll get into this. And then CT proper. Most of uh, your time will be spent on CT propers because those are kind of the regular ones that we think of with things. Fluid, I'll just go through it quickly, is going to be blood, lymph, wish my pen was working with me today, and supporting, that's supposed to be say ING, supporting what does support, so kind of like the scaffolding of the human body, um, is going to be Cartilage, cartilage, and hopefully you can guess this. Cartil, oh, sure, cartilage and bone. Dude, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, and um, yeah, we are gonna do CT proper in the next video. So, hope that was helpful. All right, late.